again, Steve here with a few comments about the Inner Genie project. Yes, it is a project, it is a work in progress, little by little. Just to get a little bit more clarity on what this is all about. Okay, so the Inner Genie came about as a result of a book I wrote a number of years ago, for Your Inner Genie. And the idea is, a very old concept, the concept of the genie is this, this character, right, who you ask for three wishes. And most of these old occult or just sort of ancient stories, mystery stories, I would guess they have a lot to do with older forms of psychology which came through stories of the examination of the self, right? And this genie, we see this show up in the form of the Greek genius, the word genius, which is this great power that some people have, but we all have elements of that within us. We all have this ability to take what is not learned and learn, to take latent talents and turn them into skills, these sorts of things. So this is what I'm, what I'm talking about. And the mission of the Inner Genie Project is to encourage truth-seeking men and women to gain greater self-knowledge and personal growth. You might ask, why? Okay, Steve, I mean, hey, if you're going to try to pitch me on something, why do I want greater self-knowledge and personal growth? Well, maybe you don't. Maybe I don't. Maybe nobody does. But again, that, but then again, probably not many people really want to take their car down to the automotive shop, do they, once in a while? No, they don't just do it normally just for that, unless somebody's a car buff and they just love doing that. They love getting their, their hands dirty working on their car. Sure, there are those. But most of us do that so that we can get to use the car for its optimal use. So we would actually start for us to go to work in the morning or whatever, right? So if we want to develop ourselves, our self-knowledge and our personal growth, it's because, we could see it anyways, we, it's because we want to do something in life. Now if we look at the car as a tool of life, right? It's a tool of transport to get us from here to there. Well, what is a tool that's even more important that, that is predicated upon that even being able to happen? It's that we, as individuals, function optimally, right? Like if we don't take care of our health, we can go into sickness and then we're not, we don't have the ability. If we know that we have to learn something to develop a skill in our workplace, to finish a project, whatever, and we don't, then we feel debilitated because we don't. So the most important tool in our lives, you might say, is us ourselves. Our physical body, our mental capabilities, our emotional control, these sorts of things. So the Inner Genie Project, in encouraging truth-seeking men and women to gain this greater self-knowledge and personal growth, the more we can know about ourselves, the more we can know about our capabilities, the more we understand ourselves and get control of ourselves, we're able to direct ourselves more efficiently, the more greater self-knowledge, the greater driver's seat we control of ourselves in a way, right? And personal growth, well, that's, we're always adding. I used to have a friend who talked about putting another feather in his cap. And maybe that's where the, the native chief uh, headdress comes from with all these feathers. Great wisdom is many branches of knowledge. So this friend of mine, he used to say, well, when he'd learned a new skill, it felt like he had another feather in his cap. He had, and that's what the person is. The person is what we build, right? We, we, come, we come born into the world with a slate of certain genetic imprints, for sure. But then we also take those genetic imprints, like basically clean slates, and we add on all of our capabilities and what we learn and how many, you know, if we're born in one area over here, we speak that language. Born in this area over here, we speak that language and so on. Those were not imprinted. Those become onto the slate. So the more skills, knowledge, capabilities we have and so on, that we're great, we're building that personal growth. We're growing ourselves. And it's just like putting the set of snow tires on the car for the winter. It's much more capable in the snow makes a huge difference, especially if you get studded tires. I like to use analogies of cars, by the way, because I was in car sales for a number of years. It makes sense to me that way. But use whatever metaphor you want. 
where you, 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 need, you need to maintain something. Otherwise, it will atrophy. Otherwise, it will wear out. Otherwise, well, think about the computer. If you don't update it once in a while and get your updates going and clear off the desktop and so on, it just slows down. It's really sluggish, right? That could be akin to just, you know, Christmas season eating, <laughs> overeating, which I sometimes do over Christmas season. I feel a bit sluggish, right? So the Energy Project right now it currently involves uh, confidence training, but eventually I want to bring in nutrition. I want to bring in exercise. I want to bring in stress management. In not stress elimination. Stress is important, right? Different kinds of stress. You stress is helpful stress, distress, harmful stress. Depends what stress. You know, going to the gym and stressing is strength building, right? Same with certain kinds of situations we put ourselves in in terms of facing fears. They can be confidence building exercises. Whereas if we overburden ourselves, I saw a guy the other night, he put himself in a situation where he can actually reduce his confidence because he overwhelms himself. So it's a question of knowing when, where is the overwhelming, right? Also relationship uh, training in terms of negotiation skills and communication skills of different sorts. So all this together builds up. It's like a, a tune-up shop. But we have two automotive tune-up shops. You can go down almost any... Uh, commercial street and there's an automotive tune-up shop of some sort. There's computer repair shops. There's all kinds of shops for machinery that we have, right? And there's also shops for ourselves. There are, there's all kinds of shops. There's the, the hospitals. Those are the shops for like collisions that we have. We have heart attacks and get smashed up in car accidents and so on. There's psychology. There's self, there's talk therapy. There's lots of different kinds of there's fitness gyms as well. There are relationship training and so on. The Energy Project is about a holistic approach to that. And eventually, hopefully, rather than just isolating one corner, is to try to make it relatable to why each and every one of us involved in this training would be there. So it's not just meant to be a classroom that teaches everybody the same thing. It's meant to be more of a conversation to try and find out, help each other together. And you know what? I'm no expert. I'm one of those truth-seeking men, men or women. Hopefully man, though, as far as I know, but I'm told there's a little bit of each and every one of us. But however, I'm a truth-seeking man, and I'm also on this path. I also want to improve my nutrition. I also want to improve my exercise. I also want to improve my, my stress level and my ability to, my mental health, my emotional health. I want to improve my relationships. I want to improve my, continue to challenge my fears and become more confident in what I do. I want to do all those things too. So, you know, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing this primarily for me to become better in all of those so that the things that I do in life are more successful. For example, the Inner Genie Project, I wanted to be successful. So I got to work on myself because I am the, as, from my, my side of things, in terms of what I do in it, I'm the one responsible. There's no sense bothering with blaming it on any scapegoats or the government or the gods or whatever. If, if there's to be something done with this, I have got to take the lead and do that. So hopefully that's helpful. Once again, the Inner Genie Project, hopefully that explains a little bit. I will answer any comments. Please let me know. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.